you just tell me to start reading. So at the end, page one, at the end, when I got this thing down to it, when he spit out the sandwich, the dog came, so he fell on the floor. When he recovered, he said, we got to do this move. We got to do this. I can't tell how I got to do this. They just moved. So we went to a, a million places. We, part, we went to Universal Pictures when the late great Lou Wasserman was alive. And we went to Lou Wasserman. He said, it's funny. I love it. But if you change Hitler to Mussolini, he's not that. He's not so acceptable. <laughs> The that, that, that was the idea that all the Jews would get up and leave and be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think you're responsible for putting Hitler on the screen. <laughs> and so I guess you're not the right place to do this. Huh? <laughs> so anyway, we went to a hundred different war brothers. Anybody, one of them saw us. Yeah, <laughs> we saw all the stories. And finally, we met to a guy. Uh, we went to Acto Embassy, Joseph E. Levine. He was in China. He was, Joseph E. Levine had done movies. The movies he had done were Hercules Unchained. <laughs> and that was it. That was it. Yeah. So we made Hercules Chained. They <laughs> made Hercules Chained, but he gets loose, but then he changes. <laughs> That's the kind of movies he made. And later, this same Joseph E. Levine made my, my wife's movie The Graduate. He made The Lion in Winter. 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 He made The Lion by going to every country in the world that was involved in World War II. And he got money from them. And just like the other shot, he raised about two or three million dollars more than for us to make the movie. <laughs> I mean, he was perfect for that, to, to sponsor this. Anyway, he liked it. He read it and he said, I like it. I can't put it on the market. Give me another time. I can't just bring down for Hitler. Give me any. Uh, so I said, well, the most ironic title, they are so far from this title, these two guys, the producers. So I made the producers. He liked it. And he gave us, Virginia and I, a two really shiny, golden, delicious apples. And he said that they were 55 cents a piece. 